Hello there, guys. Welcome back to a short online tutorial. Today, we're based in Adobe Photoshop, and it's Jack from Blue Sky Graphics. What I'd like to do today, guys, is show you how to create this ink pen sketch effect within Adobe Photoshop. As you can see, it looks like a real sort of sketch has been applied to a creased bit of paper here. Um, and it's a very simple step-by-step -step process for you to follow to create such effects. So the question should be, is how do we do it? And what I'd like to do is show you how to do it today. Okay, so let me get rid of that layer now and start from afresh. So as you can see here, I have the original image. The first thing I would need to do is duplicate this layer, which is the shortcut command J on a Mac or control J on Windows. Fantastic. Now to that particular layer, I would like to apply a filter to it. So what I'm gonna do is work smart and make it into a smart object because then I will be applying a smart filter, which we could edit and change at a later date. So all you simply need to do there is right click on the layer. I'll show you again as I went a bit quick there. As you can see, you have convert to smart object. Okay, so with that layer highlighted, I'm now gonna to go to filter, stylize, and find edges. Okay, as you can see, we've got in that sort of sketch look coming through a little bit now. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is simply just add a brand new layer, and I would like to fill this layer with a color. The shortcut to do that is shift backspace, which will bring up your fill options here. We're gonna pick a color. I've chosen this particular code here. I would highly recommend this to get this effect looking um, realistic and, and really cool. Um, so the code is 40309, sorry, D9. Okay, fantastic. Now to that layer, what I'm gonna do is apply a blending mode of screen. And what I'd like to do is bring the fill down to 50% like so. And now what I need to do is create that paper creased effect. So what I'm simply gonna do is I've downloaded a texture from Unsplash. So if I go to file, place embedded, here is my texture. And we're gonna say place, wonderful. Place from the document in there. And I don't need to resize or anything. I'm just gonna come through now and apply another blending mode of multiply. And there you have it guys. That is how you create the paper text effect within Adobe Photoshop. Let me just quickly resize this to a point. There we go. If you're interested in finding out more about the school, the courses that we offer, please take a look at our website at blueskygraphics.co.uk. Also on Instagram at blueskygraphics.uk, take a look, some really interesting information on there and some really interesting and cool designs. Thank you very much guys, take care. And I'll see you next time.